and mark <laughs> and go welcome to the most dangerous <laughs> show of the week which also includes holding the post-it note over the my, my post-it notes don't have any sticky left okay let's back up a second welcome to the sun dragon sideshow the vsc edition which is the virtual shopping channel the day we sell you yarn I meant what? for then for you to repeat the most dangerous show of the oh, week. Oh, it is the most dangerous show of the week. No show notes, people. She already said. So, yeah, it's the virtual shopping channel. Hi. Um, We have like 20 minutes because we got a lot of orders in over the past few days and we're trying to fill them and life. So, virtual shopping channel. We only did notions last week and so we heard from some people, but yarn, but yarn. So we're bringing back some yarn today. And I'm realizing this is not as yellowy as I thought it was. So no. I'm still, I'm debating. I have a new project in mind. Don't I always? Um, that would be lovely with this yarn. And I'm already working with this yarn. And I'm so excited about, we, we both love this yarn. You already yes. have a whole sweater in this yarn. I have a sweater. Are you sweater. crocheting with it? I am. You have two whole sweaters. I have two whole sweaters. And I'm crocheting knits cute what are we talking about we are talking about <gasps> juniper moon saxony <laughs> it's so soft it's so wonderful um what hey liz what makes saxony so soft and wonderful it is a luxury blend of oh, cashmere oh. and extra fine merino wool what i'm just realizing we never introduce ourselves oh who are you pause hi i'm rebecca I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in um, sunny and chilly, but for some reason not feeling as cold as yesterday, Brevard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion there. Okay, let's go back again to... Let's no, just... I'm sorry. I'm squirreling because we had visitors yesterday that like cleaned us out of half of our spunky sheep. Spunky sheep are doing a good job. Um, but it means... There yeah, we go. There we go. <laughs> but it also means as we get closer to SAF and people visit us, we're gonna have nothing left we have reached the spot in the month where rebecca goes we have no yarn <laughs> you know big event no local yarn people can come in where's your local yarn we sold it yesterday okay returning to this why is this so lovely again Liz? it's a luxury blend of cashmere and extra fine merino with 75 percent cashmere and 25 percent extra fine merino it is 120 <laughs> yards for 50 grams for 50 grams they're considering it a worsted weight um recommending a us seven to nine needle i have done it both on a 10 and a half and an 11 and you've done it on an eight and... I'm, I'm basically knitting it on an eight and i've done eight eight projects projects on eights a lot of a lot of projects we found get softer the bigger the needle size or whatever mm -hmm. this feels awesome no matter what you're working with so, so I mean, have we finished? Have you finished your thingy? Uh, crochet hooks, uh, an eye to a K. Okay. Um, so this is like both awesome and unique in so many ways. And it's just, it's lovely. So this may look like it's a hundred gram ball, but it's not. It's only 50 grams. So that's why, what are we retailing it for? I was going to say, we, that's why the price is so, so interesting. We are retailing it for 33.75. So cashmere makes things more expensive because it is super, super soft. What is cashmere, Liz? Cashmere is from Angora, or not Angora goats, that's mohair. Cashmere is from cashmere goats, and the Cashmere Association decides which goats those are. It's goats. It's soft. <laughs> that's what I'll say. So mohair and cashmere are both two different, very different yarns, but both super soft because goat fur or goat stuff. Is it fur? Yeah, is it cashmere is, uh, I want to say cashmere is the um Lucky winter coat is what it, i want to they <laughs> they, comb, they comb it out nice like angora is the long locks angora goats have long locks that's why it looks a lot fuzzier um right but cashmere like it's like yak or whatever where they have to go comb out the undercoat that's part of what makes it more expensive and also because it's so soft it's like yes it's like platinum is like a really strong metal and it's hard to find so it's really expensive so or the difference between duck feathers and duck down or goose down sure because down like they have to go and collect it off ah yeah. in that way okay i was like how does that really anyway no i get it um so so most people when they think of cashmere they think of the super fine super finely like usually machine knit cashmere sweaters like extra thinner than what i'm wearing right now 
Um, and it's a little fuzzy and everything. And this is both soft and not what you normally think of when you think of cashmere, but it's so awesome. We, we got a sample of the extra fine stuff. And it was like 25 grams were going to cost you over $30. It's, it's, it's very expensive. Yeah. Um, but this, combining it with a little bit of merino, again, regulates the price a little bit. It's still a chunk of change for 50 grams. But um, it's super soft. It's got this really loose ply on it. If you take a look at that, it kind of looks like a two ply, like loose, soft ply in it. And, um, and it's tweedy. It's how many tweedy. cashmere yarns awesome. have you seen with tweedy flex? I mean, it's gorgeous. If just, if tweed's not your thing, it's one of those keeps rolling. Don't buy this, but know that it's tweedy, but it's so pretty. I mean, look at like, it, okay. The, what? It shows detail work in all your cables. My oh cables my and lace. I haven't blocked this yet. I mean, I'm still working on it, but it's so pretty for this and so soft. And Liz's sweater. She's got a sweater that is both stockinette and garter, and she's using multiple colors of this. And it's just tweed is very popular right now. They're my new cuddle duds. What? They're my new cuddle duds. My cuddle duds. Yeah, it's it's a brand of long underwear. Every time, see, I never. Someone else was like, "Oh, cuddle duds," and I was like, "What the heck are y'all talking about?" Now I know. I keep hearing cuddle buds, and I'm like, "How do y'all know this thing that I don't know?" But it's a southern thing, I think. I live in the South, but I'm not aware of all Southern things yet. So I don't um, actually own cuddle duds, but my cashmere sweaters are my new cuddle duds. Can you hold up your other one? Yes. We've had this since um, September and Liz has made two sweaters. That's how much she loves this. And I am contemplating using this for another project. This is, this colorway is called obsidian. We just got it back in stock because Liz, you stuff like all of it. Um, the obsidian is off black and yes. it's got little tweedy brownie flex in it. Yes. Like tan flex in it. I'd say that most of the yarns have a brown undertone. Yeah, it's very earthy. These colors are very earthy and the flex in them, some of them are multicolored and some of them are just like tan. Yeah, this has like tan and a little bits of a white natural. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I am knitting with the Jasper colorway which is an orangey, rusty, yummy, I don't even know how else to describe it, but it's like burnt sienna, kind of. Or almost right? pumpkin. Yeah, it's somewhere between a burnt sienna and a pumpkin. And it's it's orange. You know, I would put it in the orange category. There it's, are it's lovely fall. There are brown, yellow, and dark orange flecks. Uh, in and it. red. And red. Believe it or yes. not, there's little red flecks. In. There's, there's multicolor flecks in this. It is just absolutely gorgeous. It is like the perfect pumpkin spice fall orangey color boom done um other colors in your sweater i have like, good bordeaux, bordeaux bordeaux it is it is like this perfect like like um muddy um almost like a chocolate wine yeah it, it's like a it's like a muddy um uh I, um burgundy that's the word i was going for and it's got it's it's I mean, bright red. By muddy, I just mean this tan, some... black, little flecks brown and... and brown. Yeah, yeah. And some of the flecks are that bright, same bright red that are in. Yeah, it's so. It's pretty. not gonna show up. But it's like it's well, and I'm gonna lighten and color the video just a little bit. But um, it's just super deep burgundy, deep, 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 like but brown burgundy. Um. Oh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, let's go through the colors. In your this sweater. one is Columbia, and it's the light blue in my sweater. Um, it's, it's more like a classic blue. Classic it's, blue, it's little denim. There's yeah. some brown flecks. And... Of our colors, I feel like that's one almost one of the brightest. Yes. Or it just is one of the brightest. Yes. Apart from like the orange, right? Those would look lovely together, by the way. Um, I see this yep. in, this is um, Feldgrau. This is a really nice olivey green. Yeah. And the flecks in here, I see some some more lime green flecks in it. Yeah. And some tan and some and a little bit of like almost like what I consider Kelly green, which is a little lighter than Christmas green. It's got some funky like texture to it. Texture color. Yeah. It's awesome. And then I also see of the ones that got plopped in front of me, I see the Oxford in um 
than your sweater. It is just right? a yeah. delicious, delicious blue. Like it's super dark, dark and it's like it's like just this side of navy, basically. Midnight blue. Midnight navy. Yeah. Um, it has brighter blue flecks in it and some of those tan ones. I've made a cowl out of two of these. I left it at home today. But um, where's the obsidian? Can we can you pass me the obsidian for like they're just both really, really dark. Yeah. But one is off black and one is off navy blue. Yeah. So, and you have so many colors. In this I, way. I have four. Okay. Uh, the last color is the pewter. Yes. Uh, and it is like a what I think of when I think of of a pewter um, gray. My yep. words are failing me right now because I'm looking at the clock. Um, it's a it's a it's kind of it's just this it's just the side of charcoal. Yeah, it's right? it's lighter than the obsidian, um, just a hair lighter than charcoal, uh, and it has some brownie flecks in the the white flecks, and it is just super yummy. Which is a lovely segue into our neutrals. Uh, the other one that we have is abalone. The other abalone. one of what? The other gray, and it's a light gray with like dark, uh darker gray flecks darker gray flecks and there's even some little brown flecks in there yeah the oh. neutrals don't necessarily have pops of color in the tweedy flex um i have let's let's do the neutral one over i have chiffon i think we have the whole color palette of we this, do we right? have 10 um i have chiffon which is like a nice buckwheat um it's a nice sand buckwheat whatever you want to consider color and it's got other flecks of different shades of brown in it really it's got it's got some yellowy brown like it's got some flecks of this color in it and it's got some flecks of darker brown in it um this is a lovely neutral this is as light as the the creamy side of this is going to get and then i'm tempted but it's it wasn't the color i thought it was in my visions at home um this is ochre which is it's really like a yellow ochre in paint it's 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 a very um I don't know if pale is the right word, but it's in the palette, it would be considered yellow, but it is a very tan yellow. Um, and there's some flex, lighter flex and darker flex in it for tweeds, which are pretty cool. Um, what I mean by like, it wasn't necessarily what I thought it was going to be is there's a, Melanie Rice has published a new um, shawl and um, cowl that have a different tone of yellow in them and this has awesome like cables and bobbles and lace and i was thinking about doing it out of the saxony uh looking at this your encore i thought it was closer to the yellow in this that's not the encore or not the encore the noro i meant the entrelock ah brain went on, to... on on yeah. yeah so yeah um there, there's a yellow in the in the Friday Harbor that might be a potential for this. So, but this is just so much softer. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, and just for notiony people to throw something else in there, um, the Saxony is already online. And an unrelated note to the Saxony, we're also going to put on sale this week the prim double point needles. I might as well just put the long and short ones on sale. Um. I started knitting with, for the longest time, we've had the prim ergonomic double point needles in the shop. The only ones we had were eight inches long, which were a little more awkward for, um, for socks, but they were fantastic. These, they come in a box. Um, they were fantastic for knitted knockers because of the length. So what's really cool about the prim double point needles, they're plastic, they're lightweight, they're triangular in the center to help keep your stitches on and to be more comfortable on your hands, kind of like square ones. And they have this, I'm trying to hold it where it's dark. There we go. They have what they call a hook tip. And not to mean that there's an actual like crochet hook at the end, but there's a little bulb at the end. Instead of being super pointy, they get a little bigger at the end. And that spot where it tapers between the bulb at the end and where it actually starts to grow to the size of the needle, your yarn gets hooked there when you're pulling your stitch through front or back. And then um, it, it helps keep your stitches on your needle. So we've had, and they only come in certain sizes. I can't list them all right now because we need to open up the shop in about five minutes. 
Um, they only come in like half millimeter and sometimes only whole millimeter sizes. Um, but they recently released in just like from a one, which in German company language, a US one is actually what we, most other people call 1.5. So it's a little bit confusing. Go by the um, millimeter size for ones and twos because it's different than the other ones and twos you may have in your repertoire. But they came out with these little flat packages with six inch needles. And they are in ones and twos and fours and sixes, which is a little random, but good for the smaller size stuff. So I am knitting. Um, I got all this done last night. I'm, I, I broke down and I'm knitting one of the socks from Ready, Set, Sock. And I got just past the cuff to start morning meditation this morning. So check out Instagram if you want to see a close up of these. But these are different girth of needles. Like this is a one or a 2.5, what other people might call 1.5. It gets a little confusing. And this is a US six, but you can see the difference in length between the six inch and the eight inch. We have random stock of these, but I figured um, to help get the six inch ones up online, we would put them on sale this week. A reminder that everything that um, we're putting in the sale category, use the code product of the week with spaces to get the 15% discount. It cannot be combined with other codes. If you happen to have another code in your pocket right now, got to use one or the other. I would use the one that saves you more money. And um, this will be the sale until we film again next Wednesday. So, which is challenging for people who sign up for my newsletter because I write my newsletter on Mondays. And by then you only have like a day left of the sale if you're not watching the sideshow. So I highly recommend at least looking at the, the title of Wednesday's episodes when we post them. So you know what's on sale from Wednesday till we film the following Wednesday to, to keep up. I know it's hard to keep up because time is, it just seems to both not be passing and be flying by. Yes. So, um, I will make sure the eight inch ones are already up online. I will try to quickly list the six inch ones so you can get those two. If we're out of stock in something and it's something you want to take advantage of just with the product of the week, not our general sales, but just the product of the week. If something you want is out of stock and you want it, come, come talk to us or call us. If you are at a long, you can't just walk into the shop because you are several States away. Um, contact us about pre-ordering at the sale price that is only offered for during the limited time that things are on sale as product of the week, if they are out of stock. So, all right. I have a whole, like, I want to talk about like, what should I wear to SAF and all these other things. And that will have to wait until tomorrow because SAF is this weekend, but tomorrow we have at least one or two questions or, or topics to, yes. to ponder but, and we also have SAF things to ponder. So we have lots to potentially talk about tomorrow. And if you have questions for us for our Dear Becky and Lizzie edition, you should email. Liz at sundragonartandfiber.com. And it may or may not make it into tomorrow's episode, but it will definitely go on the queue for a further time, for a future time. And um, just, uh, I'm going to keep uh, beating a dead horse, basically, and say we will not have sit and stitch this Friday because my parents are coming into town today. Yeah. Okay, so we have to go because it is 9.59. That one's fast. Anyway, bye. It's basically 10. We have to go open the shop. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.